Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 804 of Fallout 4. The last episode was an interesting one. It looks like we came to the conclusion of the Cappy in a Haystack quest. I think we're about to, like, turn the quest in as soon as we talk to Sierra over here. But, uh, yeah. Brad Burton Walt Disneyed himself. Eh, a little, little bit against his will, but he did. So we turned the power off. He requested that we end his miserable life. He's he's a head in a jar, and he doesn't like it. We got a Nuka Nuka launcher. It's a quantum... Basically looks like a fat man with, like, Nuka Cola... Or just w whatever. Nuka Cola quantum powered explosive tip. So I'm assuming it's going to do more damage. I'll test fire some of it here. But got some other loot. Got some interesting uh, backstory, like hollow tapes and reading this terminal about, like, which is, like what happened with the project and... Turns out Brad Bird was not exactly a, a nice man when we were reading his terminal up there, but Sierra is sad. Her hero, Brad Burton, is gone. But uh, let's let's go talk to her about the situation. By the way, she, she offered me a jumpsuit to save his life, and she's like, if you if you don't turn the power off, then then I'll give you a jumpsuit. And I'm like, no, the man wants to die. I'll, I'll help him out. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys, of course, do enjoy the Fallout videos, I uh, appreciate those of you who take the time to like the videos. Thinking out for that support, let's, let's talk to Sierra. You wanted the formula? She'll be sad. Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful, but don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry, and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? Teague wanted to die. He made a choice, and I respected that choice. You should too. I... I guess so. It's just that... Never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that, and then have it snatched away. It hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for... One glorious shining moment. I got to meet the man who invented Nuka Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you. It's amazing that 200 years later, no one managed to put the word refreshing together from the Campy Quests, come down here, and find Brad Burton just chillin'. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing that no one no one did that. Now that you've got the formula for Nuka Cola, what are you gonna do with it? I'm not a chemist, but I might try to brew some up just for fun. If that fails, well, I still got a new centerpiece for my collection. Here, I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done. I'm going to need a much bigger building to house my Nuka Cola museum. 500 caps, Pog Champ. There it is. Cappy in a haystack quest completed. Also, let's see. This is really creepy, but his eyes still move. So, uh, even though he's supposedly dead, yeah, they, they didn't think that, you know, when you pull the switch that they would they would they would update that. That's that's lazy programming, but uh, well, this is Bethesda we're talking about. Any hoodles, that thing looks like a giant penis, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, dog meat, if you don't get out of my way, I will destroy you. I'm gonna read this terminal. Brad Burton's Project Terminal. What do we got here? Hello, Mr. Brad Burton. Leap X system remote connection failure. Contact Leap X team immediately. Acquisitions. Merrill's Very Cherry, cherry Soda. Original name, Merrill's cherry, very, very Cherry Soda. Previous patent holders, Merrill Harveston. New name, Nuka Cherry Launched. So they just, like, take that and call it their own? Flavor profile, Nuka Cola and Cherry Mixture. Notes, original formula was a local home-brewed pure cherry soft drink. Made slight adjustments to the formula, but otherwise left flavor intact. Mixed with Nuka Cola and then enhanced the color with, uh, the, uh, then enhanced with color to boost visual appeal. Great Pearl Soda. It looks like they just commandeered existing sodas and rebranded them as their own. Original name, Grape Pearl Soda. Previous patent hunter, jo Joanny? Joanny Chang. New name, Nuka Grape Launched. Flavor profile, Grape. Notes, original formula sold overseas. Flavor profile virtually unchanged. Slight ingredient adjustments for cost purposes. Full rebranding and repackaging completed as per Nuka Cola Marketing Division. Sharon's Down Home Country Lemon. Is this the lemon lime one? Yeah, this is the clear one they were working on. 
Original name, Sharon's Down Home Country Lemon. Previous patent holder, Sharon Lawrence. New name, Nuka Cola Clear, awaiting final approval. Flavor profile, lemon lime. Original formula, uh, original formula holds promise, but ingredients are quite expensive. Don't recommend use of current formula for cost-effective production. We'll try and work out the kinks to get the flavor ready as soon as possible. So that was one of the sodas that they never, they never published because we, we read about that previously. Packed full of Joe. I mean, if that's his name and you like Joe, then if you want to be packed full of Joe, go go for it. Original name, Pack Full of Joe. Previous patent holder, William Lee. New name, Nuka Boost Experimental. I, was say, I don't really remember ever seeing this before. Flavor profile, Nuka Cola and coffee mixture. Notes, original formula adjusted to mix with Nuka Cola flavor profile. Initial taste test not positive. Recommend we rethink its flavor combination. I've never heard of that one. And then Project Cobalt. Ooh, 317, 2076. General Braxton stopped by my office today. I already knew he was coming. My contacts in Washington, D.C. saw to that. He asked for exactly what happened. Or, where, where, where did I get the word happened? Jesus Christ. He asked for exactly what I expected. The use of Nuka World's beverage years for a military chemical and weapons program. I told him I'd do it if he gave me uh, the information on the military's leapex, life extension and prolongation program. The, the look on his face when I asked that was priceless. As expected, he said yes. The moment the LeapX data arrives, I'm putting a team to work on it right away. It's obvious that this world is headed for the end, and I intend to outlast it all. This is five months later. 827, 2076. I had vault -Tec modify my personal vault to accommodate the machinery required to keep the LeapX system running. It's costing me a fortune, and I had to divert money from the amusement park, but who cares? My money in the park won't be worth anything when the world is a smoking ruin. I've flown a few LeapX researchers down here to make sure the prototype works. I bet they're glad they still have a job, seeing as all the military's money got diverted to wartime resources. I'm hearing complaints in my Nuka World team about the cutbacks, but they'll just have to make do. 10-20-2076, two months later. M uh, Meacham's work with Project Cobalt struck gold. His team came up with a custom isotope based on strontium-90 he's calling Quantum. He believes he can use the isotope to weaponize almost anything in the military's arsenal. He's come up with a few prototypes like the Nuka Nuke, and we've even used the Quantum to enhance one of the military's power armor suits. Haha. <laughs> Got that one. Ironically, Meacham believes we can use the isotope somewhat safely as an ingredient in the new Nuka Cola soft drink flavor. By reducing most of the harmful effects of the isotope, the quantum will actually glow longer than the ingredients we used in Quartz and Victory. In fact, I've told Meacham to start distilling it immediately and call it Nuka Cola Quantum. Uh, this is about three months later, 1-19-2077. The original intention of Leapex was to create a living bio suit to preserve my body after it would normally expire, but now I've been told by these idiots of the Leapex team that it's not possible. Leapex requires so much power and so many special components, it can only accommodate no more than 15 pounds of organic matter. That leaves me no choice. If I want to prolong my life, I'll have to have them preserve only my head. I've told them to proceed. See. He screwed up by, by telling them to proceed. I haven't come this far just to give up and wait the inevitable. And then three months down the line, 402. This is my final entry. Today will be the un uh, today will be I will be undergoing the surgical procedure to have my head removed and transferred into the Leapex system. If anything should happen, I have instructed Peyton Huxley, my executive assistant, to handle my affairs. Peyton is the only one outside the Leapex team who knows about this procedure, and I am entrusting him to visit me daily and keep me informed of events happening on the outside of my vault. Man, just imagine that you were you were you're going to. I mean, like for for one reason or another, he didn't think to maybe put like speakers or a television or a radio or you know, like something down here. I mean, shit, this is 2077. We got we got like pretty potato, but it, albeit it works like voice control. I mean, shit, you can have like a television. You're like, hey, okay, Google. Okay, this is gonna piss off like everybody who has a like, Google Assistant. Like, okay, Google, turn the TV on. <laughs> Have a TV here, have a radio, have something. Be be able to access the outside world from his position, but just imagine a world where you were solely reliant on I someone else to tell you everything. You, you are completely shut off to everything. You have to take what they say as like law, as fact, as 100% truth. Man, that'd be, uh, that'd be some shenanigans right there. That is, that is entrusting someone. I guess I'll see if she has anything else to say. But yeah, screw that. I can't believe he was alive all that time, stuck in that room. That must have been. Yeah, awful. no TV. He can't even fap anymore. Sierra. I'm going to see what else I can find in this place to add to my collection. 
Guess I'll be heading home soon. Just gonna take his preserved head Not in a jar. Left for me here. All right, well, we're out of here. That is the Cappy in a Haystack quest done. I am going to go to the surface, hit up the Nuka Cade, I suspect, and see if I can do that quest. I think there's some dude there I gotta talk to. I think I get some kind of legendary weapon when I beat it. At least I think that's how this goes. Going oh, sorry, dog meat. You're just gonna have to teleport. Also, again, yeah, nice uh, texture glitch. Also, it tells me you're going up when you're going down. You yeah, know, just Bethesda things. Also, hold on, let's see if this still works. The magic light. <laughs> it turns off when you get close to it. What about that one? No, that one still functions. Yeah, the, the game is a little bit wacky, but hey, we, 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 we enjoy it. We enjoy it. All right, let's 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 go. Let's go. Let's go talk to the dude of the Nuka Cade and see if that is what I'm thinking it is. If it is some kind of quest that I can do. Uh, I might need to go drop some things off if I want to go underweight, but depending on the quest, I might just remain overweight. It was nice sprinting while it lasted, but hey, we're fully aware of what happens. <laughs> we're we're going to pick up stuff anyway, so you might as well keep on keeping on. Pop save. And Nuka Cade, here we go. Always figured those dolts would turn on us. Better now that they're in the dirt. Yeah, they're, 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 they're gone. About you. To think I wanted to slit your throat. Did I not do this already? Oh, this is one where you can just use pre war money to get tokens. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to do that. Nuka Games! Alright, to so the Nuka Cade, I think there's a dude in here who gives me a quest. Let me actually check the quest log whenever this loads up and see if I can assign it, because I think it started. Is it this one? Talk to Fr Fritch? Fritch? Yeah, I'm saying, I'm pretty sure that was this dude's name. Hey, buddy. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. Yeah, he's what been happens there a while. next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. Set them free. I'm not going to fight. I'll fight them in the arena. Now, this seems like a really bad thing. Like, set them free would obviously be the good thing. Let me save, then let's explore some of the dialogue options. What happens if I choose to fight? All you need to do is gear up and head for the arena. Bring whatever weapons and armor you want. Then we open up the door to the gauntlet and let in whatever dumbass scaver mark fell into the trap. After that, playtime. So what's the call, boss? You gonna give us a show or what? I f feel like I'm not gonna get the reward if I say set them free. But I, I just save, so I wanna see what happens. There's not gonna be a fight. Set them free. Damn. Really? Well, you're the boss. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed, though. Like, does it just end the quest? That's what I... That's what I figured. Okay. Well, let's, let's load that up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gotta do this if I want the legendary. <laughs> I guess we're doing it. <laughs> it's, it's not the nice thing to do, but, well, I mean, not, none of what we've done has really been nice. Hey, buddy. Time to put on a show. Hell yeah! No better way to earn a raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. I'm sorry, Preston. I'm sorry, um, Mackenzie, whatever your name is. I know you guys don't like me doing this. Enter the Nuka Cola, what is it, Nuka Cola Cars Arena? Where is that? Where, where is that? Let's see here. Mortal Kombat, show on map. Ah, Cola Cars Arena. Well, that's just right by here anyway. Uh, I guess I do want to exchange the ticket things that I have. So let's insert these into the prize terminal. Wait, can I can I not do this one in power armor? I always forget. Oh, that's right, there's that weird Whoa. Guys. I think I broke the game. So, this has happened before. Oh god, look. I don't have a, I don't have a UI. <laughs> there's a delay. I can't do anything. I can't even zoom out of my character. There is a delay whenever you interact with that terminal. And I thought that I had to get out of my power armor, so I held, because it, it didn't work, and I forgot about it. I held E. So I got out of my power armor, but then I was in the interface. That was weird. That was weird. I forgot all about that bug, or all that, that problem, or whatever we're calling it. it. Like, you interact with it, and then you have to wait. It's like, watch. Press D. And now I use it. It's like, it's like this really odd delay. Uh, let's redeem these tickets. Current tickets, 9,215. That's something I have redeemed, right? Do you like to redeem all of your Nuka? Currently have redeemed... Yeah, let's let's redeem those. I have 11,000 now. Nice, 11,559. And there's nothing in here that I particularly wanted. I mean, I could buy, like, mini nukes, but it doesn't really do anything for me. I don't know what the Acid Soaker is. 
I'm just gonna leave my tickets in here for the moment. Those are just tickets we've collected while exploring. But uh, we'll revisit this. Let's go uh, see what this dude see like what's going on here, like in this arena thing. I'm I'm probably gonna go kill some innocent dude, but uh, if I get a legendary, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're in Nuka World. You you don't want to be here, buddy boy. <laughs> you don't want to be here. I promise. It's a bad place. We don't take too kindly to strangers in these parts, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> this poor guy. He's not gonna know what hit him. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna one hit him or something. Just incredibly silly. It's like, hey, I got this uh, Goss rifle, and uh, Bags, William, and you got that face. Mind if I take it? And then he dies. So it's over here, right? Is it this thing? Yeah, because this is where I exited the gauntlet. Okay, I remember this. Clearly, it's been a long ass time since we've been here. Like in this side of the nuclear world. I can't remember the last time I came Seems over like here. Every time I fix one thing, another thing breaks. That's how life works. But, uh, yeah, shit, I barely remember this. Can I get another perfectly preserved pie? Please. 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 Fuck. I can't believe I got it. Was it 797? I think that's the episode name. I got a perfectly preserved pie. You need to watch that shit. It was monumentous. It was just amazing. I did not expect. I just went up to one of these, I activate it, and boom. It just happened. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Damn it. I want that pie. I want a perfectly preserved pie. Well, if I'm already overweight, it stands the reason that I take the stuff. Because I don't really think I ever came through here and looted this. This was like to the right of the exit immediately. And then obviously, whenever I uh, left Nuka World, I kind of plowed through the main quest line because I wanted just to get my power armor. It's kind of why I came here in the first place. But uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta loot the stuff and then get the hell out of here. Mm, what was that? Moldy food? Sure. It's got its uses, strangely enough. And I never came back down here. Like, what is this? Where's this tie into? Yeah, I've never been here. I, I, the whole time that I've been here, I've never been back here. What is this? It looks like a it looks like a door that I can use, but it's gated. I'm gonna save. It doesn't say it's theft, but who knows if this ends up becoming like a merchant's place and I just stole all their shit. Yeah, like, I don't know where I am exactly. <laughs> I've been here this whole time and I've never come back here. Well then, um, whose stuff am I stealing? And why does it look like I stole some of the stuff already? Why does it feel like I've kind of taken? Oh, is this right here by the operators? I came back here a little bit, but I didn't go all the way down that alleyway, it looks like. Alright, so I've partially been here. Uh, this was a souvenir thing. I do remember looting this. Okay. So it's just that I didn't go down that far. Makes sense. Nothing in the uh, cooking station? No. There's some tin cans, though. I'll take those. Medex and mute fruit. Dog meat. You need to not be in the way when I'm looting, buddy. What the f... Did you just see dog meat? Like, his high end end just went up into the barrel. And his face was in the crown. <laughs> Poor dog meat. <laughs> Poor guy. Whatever. Let's go uh, check out the Nuka Cola cars, dude. And I, I guess we're just gonna go stomp some noob. I feel like that's what's about to happen. And I'm sorry, man. If you got a legendary on you, or if it's just a reward for, I don't, I don't even know what this quest is. I just, I heard there's a legendary at the end of this one. And I mean, I'll, I'll go do it if, if that's the thing. Um. I remember my first time to the Nuka Cola place, to the Nuka Cola car area. Good times. Good times. Okay, who's here? Does this stuff respawn? No? Alright, I'm gonna say, I see him right there. Let's get a look at him. He has body armor. He's got body armor. Hey, buddy. Can I look at you with bats? No, but I just see the disciples. Defeat the challenger. You wanna talk? Who's there? Last mistake! Sabbat, I just want to talk! Sabbat, I just want to talk! Sabbat, Sabbat! 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 I just want to... Talk. I just wanted to speak with the man. I, I just wanted to speak! I know. <laughs> I just walk in here. Dong, dong, dong. Show's over, go home. Took me two seconds. Uh, so I, I completed the quest. Now, what's that mean? Let's see here, data quest. It's completed, and I didn't get anything from him. Nothing legendary. 
And I gotta go, like, talk to the guy then? And, like, turn in this quest? I'm sorry, buddy. Like, you you shot first. I actually waited for you. You you shot first. Yeah, none of this stuff appears to have spawned back in. Yeah, I'm not Coulter. I don't have no, like, weird little electricity rigging or whatever. I'll just come in here and I'll steamroll you. <laughs> um... Is there anything left on Sabbat here? Sabbat, dude, I just wanted to speak with you. <laughs> it didn't have to. Of course, too, when I kill him, I bloody mess him. Uh, sorry there, boyo. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, it's not what you wanted. Now, you gonna say anything to me? Hey. If it ain't the big bad overboss. Okay, I didn't know if they'd be like, "Wow, good job kicking boss. that noob's butt." I'm gonna go talk to Fit Fritch or whatever his name is and see if that's it. I thought this quest was longer. I thought there was more to it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, th I thought that this was. A, I thought this quest had some kind of legendary reward. That 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 seemed less like a quest, more like just a, I don't know, like a mini game or a distraction or diversion. I walked in, I killed a man. Quest complete. Over. I'm the overboss now. Uh, sorry. The guy was. I actually did a fair amount of damage. I think he got me to 90 health with like five or six shots. So just whatever weapon he was using was definitely hurting me. It was some kind of recon weapon, wasn't it? Yeah. And that, that, that thing, I guess he must have been a high level enemy, but even with my power armor, admittedly, he, he really hurt, but well, I kind of pooped on him. Dude, I wish I could run right now. I, I really do, but I just can't. Have I been in the Kathy's Cafe? Never I don't did actually that, remember. I might go back in there. But I'm going to the Nuka Cade to talk to Fritch or whatever. I really, I really don't know what his name's supposed to be. Okay, dude. Do, do you have anything? Maybe doing that unlocks something else's reward within the arcade or something? I might have to look that one up. You're the new overboss, right? You sure made an example yeah. out of Coulter. Yeah, you just gave me a quest. And you are... Impressed. I've never seen anyone surviving cola cars for more than a minute. Of course, you did have a little help. Each was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I think Coulter got exactly what he deserved. So, you weren't loyal to Coulter? Hell no. Coulter was a goddamn idiot. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the Nuka Cave. What exactly is this place? Ah, it's my pride and joy. The one good thing that came out of getting stuck working for Coulter. Yeah, all of the amusements and games around you are working thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. How do I get started? Eager to play, eh? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Every game in the Nuka Kate still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. How do I get tokens? Well... I usually just tell my customers that I sell them, but seeing as you're the new overboss, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you a few other ways of getting them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave, but they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what, just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. <laughs> One. I don't know. You can do better. How about two? Yeah, sure. I suppose it couldn't hurt. May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. Interesting. Oh, don't you forget to take this with you, this boss. Before. That way you can't say I never did you any favors. <laughs> it's interesting that, like, he never really started off with that dialogue before, but now he gave me... Uh, like, he basically knew I was the overboss, and then he forgot, and then he, like, introduced himself. Hey. Back for more, boss? What do you need? So what's your story, anyway? Me? Didn't know you were interested. Well, I've been running this place for years now. And to be honest, until Coulter rolled in with his, uh, I mean, your gangs, it was getting boring. They were going to kick me out of the Nuka Cave. But then I showed them that I possessed 
skills that would be useful to them. Fixing these machines really isn't that different than tinkering with a gun or some armor. Just make the right connections, and it all works. After a while, Coulter started considering me almost a part of the gangs. That's probably why he never slapped a collar around my neck. Hopefully, I'll have the same luck with you, boss. Anyway, enough about me. How about I fix you up with some tokens so you can get playing? Now, does he sell anything? Let's see what you got. Tokens aren't special today. Buy two and get none free. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Do you sell like that gun or do I have to go find this somewhere else? Cause, yeah, I don't, I don't see a, a weapon category. It just has a lot of aid? Atomic rollerball. Don't tell me you have to buy rollerballs to play the... Really? To play the ski ball event? Because remember, I like activated the ski balls, but I could never play the thing. Really? It says they're, they cost you nothing. I mean, I guess I'll take them. I, I bet I bet you equip them? Sure. Mine now. Uh, yeah? Okay, I'm not sure why I didn't get the reward I was looking for, but I'll look into that one. I think there's something else that I might need to do. Now, where's the ski ball things at? Can I, can I actually play some ski ball? So weapons, atomic rollerball? Or how does this work? I figured you'd equip it. Atomic rollerball. Atomic rollerball. Can I equip it? No? Okay. So what the hell do you do with it? You pick... Please tell me you don't pick it up and drop it. See, atomic rollers. Insert the token. Oh, this time they gave me... What? It's working now? Previ previously, I played the game and, like, I didn't get any of the rewards. I got you. Boop. I got points. I can hear it. <laughs> Never let the Ticketmaster see you doing this. They'll yell at you. <laughs> we've all been kids, and we've all gone to the arcade, and we've all we've all had our parents like, Hey, hey, climb up to the top, and just drop the ball in. <laughs> Quick, while he's not looking. <laughs> I, I've been there. Does this make me the new high scorer? Uh, high scorer? How many, uh, how many times are they going to let me do this? How, how, many, how many times are they going to let me do this? I don't know why I'm putting it in the, the ones on the side. I don't know, I'm just having fun here. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, there's still one tucked away. <laughs> there's still one tucked away. All right, here you go. Yeah, the, the, the corners are the best ones, but is that it? Am I gonna, how many am I going to get? Update, please. 536 for cheating? Damn. No wonder people cheat. But uh, I'm not certain as to why I didn't get like the reward I thought I was going to get. Maybe I didn't do what I was supposed to. We will see. But it is time to wrap the episode up here, guys. Episode 804 of Fallout 4. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.